Well, here we go. It's Sunday. It is a beautiful Sunday. By the way, this is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. And most days we sit down and we have a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, have a good conversation, and talk. Last week, we did a lot of talking about politics, didn't we? Every single day that we we look at politics, we see that it is really a corrupt business. It's an evil business. And we have all of these various words out there. And we have all of these terms that people are following. And they're really evil terms because they go into companies, they go into organizations, and they make them really an unethical, corrupt organization. I was listening to Megan Kelly the other day, and she was talking about this Canadian teacher up in uh, up in Canada, and he had to go to a DEI. Diversity, exclusion, inclusion, uh, you know, woke. It's woke. He had to go into a seminar because all teachers were required to go to this DEI thing. And when he got into there, they were talking about uh, black children in school. And he raised his hand and said, well, listen, I have a concern about what you're saying because if you, I have taught in American schools and it's not a good situation down in the, the, the United States because their education level is so, is so poor. In Canada, they have everything taken care of them, um, care for them up in Canada. So the black community is better off, he said. In Canada, well, the DEI instructor turned it around and made him a white racist, made him a white supremacist. As a matter of fact, that's what she called him. And she just didn't leave it there because they had to go to several of these DEI seminars, and every single time they went into that seminar, she picked on him and used him as an example of a white racist. And it also affected his work, his school. He was a principal, and people began to shun him because that's what DEI does, is they, if you don't agree with what they say, then they shun you. You're evil. You're a supremacist. You're a racist. In actuality, it's the other side that has become racist because now they are term using a term of racism on this individual this teacher had a superior background in teaching people loved him families loved him students loved him but this dei instructor decided to make an example out of him as a racist and destroy them Literally destroyed him to the point where everything had been turned against him. His whole reputation was gone. And he committed suicide. Now this happened the other day in July. But just last week we heard of Best Buy bringing in DEI sensitivity training on the LGBT front. And one individual stood up and said, I'm not going to take this because you are creating a situation here that I do not agree with. This goes against everything I am taught. So he got up and he walked out. And he was harassed. Still being harassed. You see, when you bring in these types of of forms of 
what they think is perfect and right and everything else is really nothing more than a propaganda situation. And it's an evil one because it turns people against other people. People who do a perfectly good job, but just because you do not believe as they do or perform your life as they want you to, then they turn you into the enemy. And this is a very dangerous situation. Every single year, companies companies have these types of conflicts within their organization. A couple of years back, I had a mediation in the city of Oakland, California. Two girls decided to gang up on one guy. They did not like his political views. They wanted him fired. They wanted him gone. And the manager liked all three of them. They all were good workers. But these two individuals wanted this one guy gone. And we had to step in. And we had to mediate so that we could work together and respect the company and keep the politics out. That's one of the biggest problems that creates conflict is politics. Politics is not ethical in any way. Look at our politicians. Do you see that they're ethical? Do you see that their lies are ethical? Do you see that them calling people names is ethical? Politics is never ethical. They will bend the rules. They will lie. They will hide stuff. They will do every single thing. They will call you names. The worst names in the book. Once you allow politics or social agendas into your businesses, you're setting them up for failure. It's no longer diversity. It's all about excluding people from the company. Now, they will make the argument, oh, no, 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 it's all about inclusion. It's all about uh, bringing people together. But it doesn't. That's the problem. It doesn't. Because if you do not believe as they believe, they will shun you. They will turn against you. They will call you white supremacist. They will call you racist. It never works out. I've left the link to the story about the Canadian teacher in committing suicide. It's an interesting read. And it's also interesting to hear the words of the instructor and how she turned against that individual. Turned against him so badly that all of the other employees were so afraid of what would happen that they said nothing. They didn't even come to his aid. They became sheep, scared sheep. I talk about this so often because when I have to go into a company and mediate a situation that has to do with social issues, it's a very emotional time because people have been caught up in this theory of diversity and inclusion and and all this other mumbo-jumbo lingo that they throw around that they become brainwashed. They literally become brainwashed in the way that they're directing their accusations and hatred towards the other individual. So I have to come in and neutralize it. And we have to come to a conclusion as how are we going to live within the same company with different views and be respectful to each other. DEI does not do that. Once you become an enemy, you are the enemy. And they will do everything within their means to take you down. It is not a pleasant situation. I'm, I have even seen it in churches. Churches in California. There was one church in California where a group of people decided that they wanted to be supportive of Black Lives Matter. They wanted to be supportive of all of these social issues of the LGBT community and everything else. 
And it almost split up the church. In fact, some people even left that church and went to another church because they have had enough of politics in God's house. See, politics is never supposed to be in God's house. Politics is evil. And once you allow it into your organization or into your church or into your school, you are going to have conflict and you are going to hurt some people that you never thought you would ever hurt in your whole life. But because of the political thrust of DEI and wokeness and cancel culture, God is looking down and he's looking at this and saying, what in the world are these people doing? Did I not give them instructions to say love one another? Did I not give them instructions to respect their parents, to obey the laws, to do unto Caesar the things of the Caesar, but to God the things of the God? Did I not give them these instructions on Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not lie. Did I not give them that instructions? And here they are bringing in this DEI stuff into their culture and literally killing off other people. Not physically, but mentally, socially, unethically. I'm sure God's up there looking at this and saying, I taught these people better. I gave them a whole book on how to treat each other. And they refuse to even pay attention to it. Here they're going to to church every single Saturday or every single Sunday. And yet when they leave that church, they become an evildoer of political agendas. Did I not teach them better? I'm sure God's sitting up there saying, I provided them with a good book to read. Gave them instructions. Did I not give them the story of the Good Samaritan that when thieves decided to beat up this individual that people ignored them and then finally one good Samaritan came along and took care of him, paid for a lodging, paid for him to get well, took care of him? Now that's the story I wanted everybody to to really understand. But instead, politics came in and completely demolished that whole story. And God's up there. He's looking. Stay away from all this political agenda stuff. Look at what's happened to all these companies. Look at Best Buy at the moment. Best Buy is having a real problem now because now there's a boycott on Best Buy. Because of their political agenda internally on DEI. So today is Sunday. God's word is to love everybody. To treat everybody as you would want to be treated. A very simple message. A very simple way to live your life. To learn to forgive. To teach forgiveness. Let's move on. Let's be better people. This is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor on this Sunday. If you have a question, send it to me at thebusinessadvisor at gmail.com. And if you would like to have a session with me, you can book it online at www.lodge.co.com. Links down below. Everybody have a good, good Sunday. God is good always. Talk with you soon.